There's no one right way to manage a forest, that's for sure. But across the state, a lot needs to be done. You know, the lack of forest management coupled with the changing climate has really brought us to a point in California where if we don't make a change, I would say that the majority of our, you know, our forest lands are at risk now. Prescribed fire sooner. Um, in this case, we didn't. Over here, prescribed fire is actually the first thing that we introduced. We're here at Blodgett Forest, which is one of the Berkeley Forest Research Properties. One of our main objectives here is to take the research that we learn and actually implement here and demonstrate it and outreach the public with it. So today we're here with a group of journalists letting them see the different forest management alternatives and research projects that we've been working on recently. The fire hazard is, is high here. There are other areas that are actually worse than this because of management activity and we're going to show you that. Our forests are not in very good shape, uh, and I think the last couple of fire seasons have really proven that to us. Um, the drought that we've seen, the insect-related mortality, just kind of thing after thing is building up to show that our forests are at risk and they need, they need some attention from us. And you know, what that means, it can take a lot of different forms. Then comes the mastication that chews up the non-merchantable or submerchantable trees. It chews them up like we saw earlier. Blodgett Forest, it was, it was set up to really be this living laboratory to bring researchers so that they could look at the differences between certain management styles on different aspects of the forest ecosystem. We have areas where we've done nothing, we've let it go. We have other areas where we've taken a much more active approach, done commercial harvests, um, non-commercial treatments, prescribed fire, and we're able to really look at the trade-offs between those different types of treatments that we have here. The basic tools that we have for knowing if the conditions are going to be good enough for us to burn a weather meter like this. This can measure wind speed, it can measure air temperature, and it can re measure relative humidity. It is really logistically difficult to burn. It's hard to get permit windows, weather windows. The problem is so, so vast that if we aren't able to take advantage of every possible window that we have, regardless of the season, um, you know, we're not gonna get closer to our goals um, in terms of land management in California. So that's why we're really trying to take advantage of any window we have, we will be out there trying to put fire on the ground. All right, go ahead, put it on the ground. As we think about managing our forests, we need to figure out how to deal with all of the down and dead material that's on the ground, you know, the large limbs and sticks, and also the brush and the small trees that are growing are just out there as fuel waiting for a wildfire. It's a resource. It's carbon, it's stuff, you know, stuff that animals eat, it's stuff that pests want, that pet pathogens want, and it also provides fuel to fire. We're hopeful that maybe one day we can get to the point where there's actually a commercial market for that type of material. We can take it off, chip it, send it to a biomass facility where it can be turned into energy, for example. So I think figuring out a place for all of the material that is readily available in the woods would really be kind of the holy grail um, for some of us, yeah. I think you gotta take the whole toolbox, and the toolbox is mechanical treatments alone, with no burning, some prescribed fire treatments, some combos, maybe livestock grazing. I mean, you got to put everything you got on the table. You know, they're, they're everyone's forests. We have small landowners, we have private landowners, we have the Forest Service, and the ability to manage across those different ownerships is going to be one key to the puzzle. But we need to be actively managing our forests and investing the resources in them that they deserve. <laughs>